Today we are showcasing why bounce on your wedges is so important. I'm joined today by Thomas Campbell and Danny Farrell. We're out on the golf course today. We're going to show you a few scenarios with some interesting lies and showing you why bounce and using it on your wedges is so important. Now, let's kick it over to Thomas and Danny with our first scenario. All right, Danny, so we are greenside here and we're gonna be discussing bounce and why mm -hmm. it's important when you're hitting chip shots and pitch shots around the green. I absolutely love this topic. Guys, first off, you'll see my new wedges for this year for 2022. Uh, a lot's changed for this shot. Last year, I had my Bettinardis, all low bounce options because we know me, I'm relatively shallow coming into the ball. But what I found is when I'm shallow and I deal off the club, I'm taking bounce away at, at the same time. So it's been very hard for me to play low bounce wedges on the full swings or even shots like this. So I'm very excited to get with you today. Help me out on these wedge shots. Start using more of the bounce guys. How do we do that? Right, use the bounce. Bounce is your friend. What we want to do when we're hitting a chip shot or a little pitch shot around the green is we want to expose the bounce. Okay. So, I mean, Bob Volke, going back in the back in the day, you know, always we talked about bounce is your friend, bounce is your friend. There's a reason why there's bounce on the on the wedge, is because we want to use it. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you have pushed the hands forward, you're de-lofting the club. Not only are you taking loft away, but you're also decreasing the bounce. Correct. Anytime you increase loft, you're increasing bounce. Mm -hmm. So if you open the face up, what you're doing is you're 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 getting rid of that leading edge. Okay and you're exposing the bounce a little bit more. Sure. So number one thing, what I see with golfers, when they're chipping and pitching, I see them push their hands forward, and I say, no, don't do that. Okay. Get away from it. You can <laughs> just want to open the face up just a little bit, even on, even on a shot you don't have to hit a flop shot on, just to make it a little easier, and you don't have to be perfect on making good contact either. Mm -hmm. You could hit the ground just a little bit before the ball. You will hear a little thud. You'll hear this as you're coming through. You'll hear that bounce come through. Especially on tight lies, you'll use the bounce nicely. Okay, so well, using bounce is gives you more forgiveness as well. You know, a lot of shots are thin or heavy, uh, but hopefully with a little tip from Thomas Campbell here, we'll be making more birdies and we'll learn how to hit these little short shots. So scenario one, definitely one that I'm knocking my knees a little bit with. You know, I'm used to kind of leaving these a little bit short or you know, making sure I don't leave it short and sending it too far. Yeah. Well, let's so, take a look and see what you it. normally do. Yeah. I'm curious to see what your setup looks like. I mean, kind of where, where I am at impact on everything, right? Yep. I have got to narrow my stance. I have my feet, feet uh, weight wise distributed about 90, 10. So more on the left, but then I always kind of gravitate towards here. Yep. Hands being a little bit more ahead. Yep. So the leading edge is a little, a little forward. Yep. Yep. That's not a bad shot when you hit catch it clean. Right. Yeah, right. I didn't I didn't hear much of like a little bit of like a little bit of a thud coming through. I didn't really hear much. No. All I heard was the ball kind of popping off the face. Very, very kind of a picker-esque type. Yep. You know, that's yep. it makes me nervous. And if you so. got a good lie, it's probably okay. But you're not always gonna get a good lie around <laughs> exactly. the Exactly. Like yep. let's push this down for example. Yeah. So that's let's see a couple of shots here where you just kinda Instead of setting up leading edge forward, mm -hmm. just open that face up a little bit. Okay. Okay. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have to be a lot. Shaft yep. lean instead of forward. Yep. Kind and of because, more neutral. Because the face is a little more open, you're adding loft. You need to give it just a little bit more speed. Okay. Maybe a little bit longer backswing and through. How about anything grip wise? I would leave the grip. I, I think this is enough to just think about right now. Is that's just kind of change, change out the setup a okay. little bit. Okay. Yep. Wow, does this feel and look different to my eye right now? Looks like a square face to me. Look at that thing, just kind of popped up in the air, landed nice and softly for you. That was that was different. That was that, and that you pushed that ball down too. I did. Yeah, that it was, doesn't have to be perfect. Right. You know, the bounce is your friend. Bounce has got some forgiveness in there. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not like we're hitting off a cart path, a concrete. Right. It's okay for that club to kind of bounce into the ball a little bit. Okay, so let's try this again. So weight that left. That still to me looks like it's pretty square. Just just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a little too open. open. Yep. Okay. Look at that thing pop up in the air. Wow. That's Soft gonna make things a lot easier. I feel like I can't miss that way. I can't thin it as often. I can't leave it a foot in front of me as often. Yep. And I feel like I already gained more green side control with some more spin too. 
So I'm really, really good start for us. That yeah. was great. The ground has some forgiveness, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not hitting off a car path, there's a little bit of forgiveness there. You don't have to hit the ball perfect. You can you can maybe hit the ground just before the ball, sure. and this bounce will kind of pop up, and the ball will kind of pop up nicely. Gotcha. Let's go look at some other different shots. Let's do it. Okay, so Drew, it's your turn now. So we've got a little short-sighted shot here. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not very far away. This is probably 30 feet at the absolute most yep. distance. But we don't have any green to work with. This pin is on three paces on and three paces from the right. Yep. And we've short-sighted ourselves, we'll come up short right. So in this particular shot, once again, we need to use the bounce. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably the, the key thing of this video is, right, is right. using the bounce effectively. So but yeah, but how do you use bounce on this shot? Because obviously you're not like, the typical person's not gonna go up to a shot like this and you know, I know you guys are talking about kind of, you know, the forward shaft lean and de-lofting it. So yep. what, how, walk me through this one because I know maybe you're thinking about opening the face a little bit here maybe? Yes, so opening the face increases the bounce. Um, we've got a little bit of forgiveness here. There's, there is some grass underneath and, and even if you have a bowl that's maybe sitting down yeah. in this, there's still gonna be just a little, a little bit of forgiveness to have that, that club just kind of come bounce kind of yep. underneath, underneath the ball. Okay. But this particular shot, we just got to trust opening the face up a little bit more. Yep. And you're going to need to swing a little bit further because you're adding more loft. So the yep. ball's going to maybe end up going a little shorter. Okay. And then we're, all we're doing is open the face up. And then as you're coming through, you want to hear this club just thump. Use yep. that bounce. Use that thud. Yep. yep. Have the, the club exit the ground just before the ball. Mm -hmm. And it should kind of slide right underneath it. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is it is a, it is some grass here that can probably the ball can get buried a little bit, but you kind of yeah. just almost you kind of cut across it a little bit, a little bit as a you open the bit. face. You don't you don't need to exaggerate that that too okay. much. Yeah. But you, right now, what you're doing is you're coming across. Is I'm not hearing any ground at all. There you go. That's yep. the sound you want to hear. Perfect. Just probably a little not quite as heavy of a swing, but you correct. Know. So we're just using the bounce. Hear that club bounce? Mm -hmm. All right, so that one there, as you came through, you let the face kind of released over a little mm -hmm. bit. Yep. You want to try and feel like you're leaving the face just leaving a little bit open. Leaving the face open. Yep. That was better. Yep. All right, now it's about controlling the, the swing a little and bit. And then it's just figuring out how far back and through you got to take it. Yep. Just like that. That felt good. That's the swing right there. Yep. Just hear that club bounce through. That was pretty good. There we go. That was really nice. Figured it out. So, because yep. on here, especially with this grass, I kind of tend to get wristy with shots sometimes. Yep. And that can get really problematic on, you know, thick rough like this. Yeah, you're going to feel like as you're coming through, that that face stays just a little bit open. So if we get wristy, that mm -hmm. club face is going to rotate. Turn over like that close. first shot I had where the ball so was. So it's almost feet like past. you're just keeping the face a little open. Kind of holding it off face, almost. And just use the bounce. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. But anytime you close that face, you're decreasing the bounce. Mm -hmm. We want to use the bounce. Doesn't matter if you've got seven degrees of bounce on your club or you've got 12 degrees of bounce. Bounce is your friend. All right, so hole five at the U of M, um, tricky little par three. Mm -hmm. Anything long, you'll kind of end up back down, down in this area, short-sided. The back flag today, don't have much green to work with. Um, so the, the advantage you do have here, though, is you're on a bit of an upslope. Yep. So if we open the face up too much, you may not get the ball out to the green. Right. So we don't have to. If you've got a bit of an upslope, it's going to be adding a little bit of extra slope to you, adding yep. a little extra loft. So you don't need to exaggerate it maybe as much. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing still as you're coming through is making sure we're still using that yep. bounce coming coming through. Get that, that thud a little bit? That thud, yeah. Okay. So I would also like to see you add in a little bit more softer hands because when okay. you were hitting the, the first few shots, the shorter shots, you still looked to me like you were trying to like almost like hold it off a little bit yeah. as opposed to just feeling like the hands are just, just a little feel bit softer. Like rotate through and yep. don't be afraid to kind of, I mean, swing all the way through Correct. essentially. Just yep. obviously not without, with less speed, but yeah. Okay. So here you're, are we still kind of opening the face a open little bit, but, little but bit. not as yep. much because yep. of the just slope. Just remember the slope is helping you to open the face up a little bit. Okay. And yep. then just the soft hands. Soft hands, a little bit, a little bit more turn here onto your, okay. onto your left side because you're on a bit of an upslope. Yeah, maybe really kind of turn the hips through a little bit. Yep. All right. That was excellent right there. 
That's great. Yeah, it was weird because I usually I'm you're you're right. Like I kind of just do a little, you know, wrist and then just sort of stab and hope I catch it perfect. Yeah. But that time it was just it, I almost it was like it felt like gliding almost. It was just effortless. Kind of came with the the swing, if you will. Yeah, and the feel I like to think about is it's going to feel like you've almost got soft hands. You're not gripping it really tight. Yeah. As you're coming through, you just kind of let that club slide through. Yeah. Great shot. Really good. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to put you guys in some pretty tough positions yeah. here today, but it's good because on the golf course, you're going you're gonna to get it. You're not just right. going to get perfect lies every mm -hmm. single time. Yeah, bounce is one of those things that golfers don't, I guess, maybe fully understand sometimes, and it's kind of a, a novel concept, but I think um, we learned in, in these shots that really using the bounce kind of means making sure you kind of almost hear that thud off the ground where the club does kind of bounce off the ground. And then you really expose the right parts of the club face to the ball, get clean contact, and then you still can manipulate your face a little bit and still hit those shots, I think. Right, and golfers don't need to understand exactly what, what bounce is and how right. it works and that kind of stuff. That's what the, the club fitter's job is. Mm -hmm. you know, come in, second swing, get fit for the right amount of bounce. Right. Talk to the fitter about what you like to do around the greens. Mm -hmm. But I usually say you want to have at least one wedge in there that's got some versatility yep. to allow you to open and close the face a little bit, and especially open the face. Right. As I mentioned, we were doing this. Especially this shot here. We were opening the face on every single shot. It, didn't, it was maybe only a couple degrees or it was a lot, depending on the cir right. circumstance. But what that does, just remember, is it increases the bounce. It exposes the bounce on the wedge and makes it so much easier to hit shots around the green. Sure. Well, well, Thomas, thanks for joining. Um, I think Danny and I both learned quite a bit, and we'll take this to the course. We'll shoot some lower scores, and hopefully the viewers do as well. So, and golfers, make sure one last thing. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like as well. Thanks for watching.